Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you five spaces in your home that you should declutter in December, and you'll find out why. I know that for many of us, December is probably the busiest month of the year. There's a lot going on from buying gifts to going to parties and everything in between. There's just a lot going on, but I just wanted to encourage you in today's video to take a little bit of time decluttering in the month of December because there are some spaces that make sense to declutter during this month. And so we'll get into why that is. And the first area that you should be decluttering in December is toys. Obviously for Christmas, if you have children, there is going to be an influx of new toys and it can be very difficult to find a home for all of these new toys. So it is important to get rid of any toys from your home that your children are no longer playing with or maybe toys that are broken or have missing pieces. This is a great time to evaluate what your children are playing with and what they're not playing with so that you can make room for all of the new toys. I always encourage people to include their children in the decluttering process. Of course, if it is age appropriate, which you need to decide for your child, but it is good to help them learn about boundaries in your space and how you need to only have what you have room to keep and teaching them the value of decluttering and making space for new items. It's also a great time to teach your kids about being giving. Perhaps you can find some local charity where you can give these toys, especially if they're only gently used, to people who are in need or people who could use them, maybe even as Christmas gifts for their own children. And it can teach your children about being giving, which is great, especially for this time of year. The next category of items that you should declutter in December is Christmas decor. As you put up your decor, you will see the items that get left behind. Oftentimes, if there are things that we don't display or put up one year, the chances of us displaying it the following year are even smaller. So really evaluate if you are going to use those items in the future really being realistic about what you want to keep and what you will actually use in the future. The third category that you should declutter in December is wrapping paper and wrapping accessories. It can be a really great time to evaluate your stash, especially as you're wrapping a lot of gifts. Perhaps when you are done wrapping gifts for this season, you can determine, are you actually going to be using the scrap paper, the stray tags, and the extra ribbon for the following year? And you might, there might be some items that you would like to keep for the following year, but be realistic with yourself if you're actually going to use that paper or the ribbons or tags for the following year or not. The fourth category is winter coats, hats, scarves, and gloves. Now is a really great time to evaluate what items you're wearing and what you're not wearing. I know here in Austin, it is not really all that cold yet. It still gets quite warm in the middle of the day, but I know a lot of places around the country and around the world, it's getting very cold and you're using all of these items this time of year, your warmer coats and hats and scarves and gloves. So it is a great time to evaluate if you're actually using all of the items that you currently own. This is another great place to potentially donate to people who are in need, maybe a local homeless shelter or a local women's shelter could use these items and it would be a great place to donate them, especially in these colder months. The last category of places that you could declutter in December is in your kitchen, your kitchen items and gadgets. 
during the month of December is probably the time when you most use all of your kitchen items and gadgets and it is a great time to evaluate if you actually need multiple 9 by 13 pans and a plethora of spatulas. Perhaps you could get rid of some of these items or even gadgets that you have that you thought you would use around the kitchen but you don't. Another thing to evaluate is specialty dishes like specific holiday dishes. Really pay attention to which Christmas dishes you are actually using and evaluate if perhaps you could get rid of some of the specialty dishes that you have been holding onto for years. I know for me, I got rid of all of my holiday themed dishes and I pretty much just use all white dishes and dress them up with tablescapes and napkins and fun things like that to make it more holiday themed. But be realistic with yourself about which of these holiday dishes you are actually using and enjoying. Well, I hope that this video was encouraging or inspiring to you somehow today. I hope that it gave you some ideas of just a few places that you could visit sometime in December to declutter and just how December is such a great time to declutter these particular spaces but I appreciate you watching this video. I will have a blog post in conjunction with this video, so if you would like to go read that, I will have it linked in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.